back. So today, I tried to shoot this video a second ago. I'm going to show you step by step, but it kind of backfired when I deleted the video. So here we are, starting over. Essentially today I'm going to install this the X01 rebuild kit. Um, it's actually not even, it's for a bunch of different trucks actually, but it comes with the I-bar, which is not stock. Um, so this will work great. This whole gear set works great for the Stampede or the Slash 4x4. It's basically a Revo diff. Uh, so basically I'm just showing you how to access the differential. Essentially, if you have a wheelie, well, if you have a Stampede, like me, it's going to come with the wheelie bar and everything installed. So I just kind of clipped everything together just to give you an idea of what you got to take apart. So there's quite a few screws, actually. you got to take the two from the diff out. The two for your sway bars out, and you flip it over. There's one right there in the back, and then there's two on the bottom. Once you pull those out, you can wiggle the back uh, wheelie bar off. It'll basically look like that when you've wiggled the back wheelie bar off. Now, there's two more screws one there, and one there. Save them for the end because you can't really get at them on the proper angle unless you do them last. And then uh, that's it. Those two screws. And then this will slide off. That's already loose after you pull the back bumper, but this back diff cover will come out. Assuming your dry shafts are disconnected, you can just pop the whole diff assembly right out. Just like so. There you have it. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rebuild. Um, and I'll kind of walk you through it. Essentially, you can see my, I've already had this diff out a few times. I've, I'm running 30,000 K in the river right now. I'm, I kind of want to go a bit stiffer, but I don't have the funds to go get any more oil right now. So I'll have to wait on that. So I'm going to put 30,000. Magic video. There is the diff fluid that I use. Now keep in mind, diff fluid and shock fluid, even though they say silicone oil, they are not the same. This is like thick, like syrup, right? You can't even, it takes a long time to get it to do anything. Whereas uh, the shock oil is very runny. So basically pop the bearings off. Uh, I need to pull the ring gear off, which is the top here. Pull these four screws. There'll be a seal underneath of that, so you want to be careful not to damage it. So this is kind of what you should expect to see. Um, stock, the diffs are going to be packed with grease, or they're not going to look quite the same as this. Because I've already rebuilt these, but see that rubber seal there? Make sure to be very careful with that, or else you're going to have to go buy new ones if it doesn't come with this kit. Um, so I'm going to just not use my fingers on that. I'm going to grab it with something better. And then clean it out. Uh, I'm not going to pop this out here, but if you just push this out, a lot of the oil will come with the gears. Because uh, it is quite thick, right? And then uh, I get in there with a degreaser and spray it all out and clean it out as best I can. Uh, it looks pretty good though. I'm kind of rebuilding this a little prematurely as the, the diff kit came. And I haven't been running this truck a lot lately. So anyways, I'll get that done. And... Uh, show you a couple tips along the way. Uh, one thing I also failed to mention here is uh, the o-rings and such. All these come on the back of your spider gears, the blue uh, rubber o-ring that seals the diff itself. Uh, they don't come on the new ones so you need to save those if you plan to use the new spider gears. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the spider gears in this diff so I'm just going to reuse them. Um, but I'm going to install the eye bar and I need this longer piece to do it. But these gears can get reused somewhere else along the way. You don't have to. They're all the same, essentially, as the ones in there. So, just thought I'd point that out. If you do plan to use the new gears, make sure to pull these seals off of all of your old spider gears and transfer them over to the new. Uh, if they have started to expand or if any of them are broken or something, you're going to have to buy. Uh, the other rebuild kit as well. Uh, I'll put the part numbers on your screen right now. Essentially, that includes all the rubber gaskets and such, um, which they do go, they get ripped. Just be very careful with them. As you see, I try to be really organized here. Keep all the stuff you're pulling apart in one spot so you're not losing it or knocking on the floor. And when you clean these seals, be super gentle. Don't pull on them or they will break. Um, 
anyway, so I'll carry on here and show you the final product. Okay, so I've partially assembled it. I just thought I'd show you this and I'll pop it out and show you how it goes together. So the new eye bar slots in just like so. Um, I can't really show you two hands, but you spin the bottom gear and then they all spin. So I'll show you how that works. Basically, you can see that. So let's put the gears on like that and the pin straight through the center. Make sure that the gears are facing in. And that's it. So put the make sure like I decided I was just gonna use the new gears anyway, so there's the old ones that came out of the diff. Decided, you know, they're still great, there's nothing wrong with them. I got a spare set regardless. So might as well just put the new ones in. So I'll drop that in there. Then uh, I'm going to fill it up with the diff oil and I'm going to let it sit for quite a while. Let all the air bubbles and everything kind of creep out of it. And then when you assemble it, uh, you only put in three of the screws on the top of the ring gear here. And then uh, any excess oil will, will come out of the, the fourth hole. So I'll run you through that as we get there. So right now I'm going to go ahead and assemble it. I've cleaned this all out. As best I could, I used uh, actually WD-40 or any kind of degreaser works good. So first off, you pop the gears out. I stick paper towel in there, you know, get as best I can. You don't want to use like shop towels or I have these, uh, these other ones I got. They were good for some stuff, but uh, these heavy-duty cleaner degreaser wipes from Walmart, they're, they uh, they don't work so great. They leave strings of cotton or whatever that can get, get caught up in your diff and whatever just they're not the greatest so I use paper towel clean out the majority of it then I sprayed it out with WD-40 I got out most of it then I actually ran it under really really hot water for a minute and then I blew it out with compressed air and that's it clean cleans are gonna get it anyway so I'll assemble it put the oil in and uh, we'll go from there wanted to show you real quick here. I got this off in a stand and it's pretty sweet. I like it. You can rebuild two or three diffs, two of these sides anyway. Well, you know, you could probably fit three if you tried. Um, all your shocks clip in here too. You can do four shocks at one time. Nice little car stand. If anybody's interested, I'll show you the box here. It's... Let's see. Hobao. Team Hobao. <laughs> Professional car stand, but it's off now. Uh, that's where I got it. So there's the part number. Yeah. So I'm gonna fill this up with oil now and just let it sit there, probably for a couple hours, and let all the air bubbles get out. I'll fill it right to the top, uh, as tight as I can get it. And I'll put the seal back on. Put the top, like I said, the ring gear on, and I'll only put in three of the four screws. And let any excess oil seep out of the fourth. And I'll plug the fourth and we're done. So there you can see it's now filled with diff fluid. And it's got a ton of little air bubbles in it, right? So I just let those soak down. If you want, you can actually um, pull the top assembly out. Leave the bottom gear in, obviously. And then put some oil in there. Then drop it in. It can get a bit messy doing it that way. Um, but it can be a bit quicker. I don't really mind, I'm in no hurry, so I'm going to let it sit here and just let it work its way down there. So, basically I just drop some more oil on the top as it uh, lowers itself, and that's it. And we'll see what up when we're done. So I hope this video helped somebody out there. Uh, if you like the video, feel free to crush that button, that thumbs up button below. And I hope to see you again.